So let us continue our discussion. If the human being is basically formed and driven by three major impulses, which, is, which are reason, the rational part, right? the spirited part, and the appetitive part, right? And if each of these can take precedence or ascendancy or rule over the others in different human beings differently, then obviously, obviously in the city we will, we will encounter the same three major types of human beings. Right? Some of whom would be ruled by reason over spirit and appetite. Some of whom would be ruled by the spirit, the spirit of part of it, right? And some of whom would be ruled by the appetitive part. Right? These are the major three types, major three arrangements. You're either driven by the thing in you that helps you understand, that helps you know, that helps you choose the right action, or you are driven by the part in you that just pushes you towards action. It's the engine that drives, but not the right, not the direction, not the part that gives the direction. Uh, or you are ruled by the most basic drives, or just desires, appetites. These are the choices. If these are the choices, if these are the, the types of human beings you will, you will have in a city, the question, remember, is what is justice? What is the just way? Well, the just way or justice, whether in a city or in a human being, meaning in his being, in his self, which also implies in his life, justice will be the right thing, will be uh, the answer to, to what is justice, will be the answer to, well, what is the right way to arrange these components that drive us? What is the right way? Uh, how should we live? Is what should guide us in our lives? And the same will apply in the city and in the human being. So that's the question, right? With, with, which we mentioned before, wh what is the best life? How should I live? What is the best life for a human being? Well, let's look at it. It is a life driven by what is um, nous, as the Greeks called it, the, the rational part. Is it a life driven by the spirited part, or is it a life driven by the appetitive part? Well, according to Plato, and not only with him, what is most proper to man, the highest in man, is the rational part. And again, r rational part not understood the way we understand it after modernity, but understood as the thing, the, the part in us that fits the order of the whole, the part of us that can understand, that can know the order of the whole, that can know truth, that can know uh, reality, that can know truth from falsehood, what is right from what is wrong. Right? That's the rational part, the knowledge, right? understanding. This is the highest thing now. This is what separates us from other beings, animals, according to Plato. So clearly, the highest the, the best sort of life, the best form of life, will be the life that is most proper to the human being, which is the life lived according to what is most proper to human beings, which is the life lived according to understanding, to the rational part. Which means that there is a hierarchy here, suddenly, in which the rational part rules over the spirited part and then over the appetitive part. Think of the appetitive part as the chariot behind, the, the, the spirited part is the wild forces and the rational part is the driver. It, it takes the three of them to live. And all of these are part of what we are as human beings. However, there is the right way and the wrong way or the disordered, disordered way to arrange them and then to live. Well then, the same thing will apply here. And in fact, Plato, because this is why he went to the city, starts with the discussion of the city and then comes back to be reflected back into the soul that we, we are synthesizing here and obviously this is just an introductory overview uh, you know I invite you later to take courses in political philosophy or read on your own and it's much richer than that but let's focus on our synthesis so there is a right way of ordering things in the soul and in the city well, 
First of all, why do we need cities? Or why do we need society? This is another question that with which Plato starts, uh, or Socrates starts in Plato's dialogue uh, in uh, the Republic. Well, cities or society is needed, again in the Greek sense, because we cannot live on our own. We are deeply social beings. Our development needs others, needs the others, both physically, biologically, I can't do everything on my own, right? and psychologically, uh, spiritually, and so on. In order to be a full human being, according to the Greeks, you needed the city. You needed the city. What kind of a city? A city in which people provide to each other, right? this is why we have different groups, different professions, different careers. We all bring something, right? the carpenter, the auto mechanic, the, the professor, the, the doctor, the whatever it is. And we all bring something that the other one cannot bring, or not to the same degree. Right? It's, this, it's an in relationship of interdependence. So, in the city in which we be, uh, depend on each other, uh, because we have different types of people, we would wish, according to Plato, that each of these individual human beings would practice the profession at which they're best. Will do, will do the thing, will live the life, which is also a profession, that fits them the best. So, remember back here, right, that we have three major ways of, you know, um, being ruled in ourselves, and thus three types of human beings. The human beings who are led, by, again, by the spirit over the appetite. The human beings who are led by the rational part over the spirit and the appetite. Right? This is how what we noted here. So people are ruled by each uh, different parts of their of their self. Since we have these variety of people, how should we arrange them? Well, if this is the right arrangement in the soul, in the self, in the being of the human being, then obviously this will be the right arrangement in the city. Because the question is, how should I live? How should you live? So clearly those who are ruled by the rational part, which are always fewer, maybe even fewer, versus those who are ruled by the spirited part. Versus those most who are ruled by the appetitive part. As, as personnel. Ruled in the sense of, or think of this as what dominates. What is the most powerful impulse? We all have all these aspects, but what is the one that shapes our action? Also remember, this is very important, that each of these dimensions uh, of our being have a virtue. They produce a good that the others cannot really produce. What do we have from the rational part? What, what's the rational part of us give us? Right? It gives wisdom, which is what? Knowledge, understanding, all these things. So, wisdom. Right? What does the spirited part, what is the best thing that the spirited part, the action part, what is it that it can give us? Spirited part, it's courage. You know, the, it's the part that pushes us towards action. Right? It can be rash, if it's not developed enough, it's cowardly. But the best thing about it, the virtue that it brings, is courage. While well, the virtue of all three, but also of the appetitive part, right? What is the best thing about the appetite? It has a, a good way of functioning. This is how you should think about a virtue. A virtue is a thing performing according to its nature. The nature of reason is to know. Performing it rightly is wisdom. The nature of the spirit is action. Performing it, it rightly, action and will. And performing it rightly is courage. The nature of appetite is satisfaction of desires. The right way of satisfying desires is what? It's moderation. But guess what? The same virtues, if you want them embodied, reflected in a city, 
right? Where can you look for that? You will look for that in the people who are ruled by these specific parts of the of the human self, right? It's the people ruled by the rational parts who will bring wisdom to the city. The, the wisdom part. It's the people who are ruled by the spirited part who will, who will bring the courageous part. And it's the people who are ruled by the appetitive part who will bring, well, it's actually together, but uh, it starts from here, who will bring moderation. And notice, remember here, that just like in a 